think I may have got quite possibly the darkest Airbnb room in the whole of Mexico City. Skate wide. Check it out. Room is already looking a state. I've been here for 12 hours probably. Yesterday I got into Mexico City. The first plane from the UK to Dubai was beautiful. Lovely Emirates flight. And then the flight from uh, Dubai to Barcelona, Barcelona to Mexico City, same plane wasn't as new, wasn't as nice, unfortunately. Wasn't too bad though, I went through the whole journey without drinking any alcohol because I've stopped drinking alcohol, without watching any movies or music because I forgot to put music on my, tele my telephone, on my mobile, so that was a bit gutting, but I don't really know what I did. I think I just ate, slept, and kept watching how far we had to go. Both the flights were super busy. I don't know where people are getting the flights of quiet at the moment. They're not, at least not from the UK to Dubai, or Dubai, Barcelona to Mexico City super busy <laughs> both flights i had someone sit next to me so he throw to dubai someone moved from next to me so i don't know what i'm doing and then there was this very very guapa chica uh, that was from brazil that sat next to me she moved as well so must must be something that i'm doing when i got from dubai to barcelona i got into the airport and had my health form ready to go and we literally walked down into the airport, did a security check, and then they said, turn left. And the rest of the guys had to get a different plane, had to turn right, go through the passport control with their health form. We turned left and just got back on the plane. So although it was best to have the health form there ready to go, you wouldn't want to risk it without, straight back on the plane without any hassle. So that was good. Overall, it was three flights, basically did 26 hours at 540 miles per hour average. Yeah, as I said just earlier, so much plain food. I think I had about nine meals in the space of 48 hours, which is about eight more meals than I usually eat within that space of, of time. So I did wonder whether you can die from eating too much plain food. We'll find out. Did notice also that Emirates don't give out the hot towels anymore. I can only imagine the reasons why, but they do give out every single flight a, a mask and some alcohol gel, which I think is kind of pointless if you've gone in with a mask. I guess if you're doing three flights like I did, having a new mask every time would be a good idea. I turned them down, I was perfectly fine with my cloth mask. Overall, the travel experience was relatively easy, to be honest with you. Apart from the three hour PCR test I had to get to go to Dubai, it was relatively stress-free. Mexico border security. I didn't understand the lady and I'd heard three people had gone to Mexico and got a touristico, touristico? Tourismo, not ticked on their travel visa and having business and only getting 10 days so then you get fined on the way out. So I wanted to double check that. I've got 56 days on it. A bit weird. I don't know why they don't just put, put the 180 days for everyone but they do it by day so that's fine. Now my passport is not very old, but it's decrepit. And the photo in it, I don't know if I can show you this on, on camera. That's my passport photo. The guy at security in Dubai didn't think that I looked much like my photo, which I've had numerous times. He eventually, <laughs> eventually, after I took my hat off, said, that is you, uh, nice mustache. So he complimented me on my mustache. <laughs> but yeah, my passport photo just doesn't look like me at all. Again, the, the masks, people were pulling down the masks to cough out, which I thought was bizarre. Um, communicate. People on the plane were pulling it down to talk to each other so that you could actually understand and using a mobile phone in the airport. So many people on the phone, they masked down so that, so that the person could, could hear. Pretty hilarious. And then the levels of people, like we went, went past some um, people in Dubai and they were full white bio suits with three masks on and a plastic sheet over their face. So completely like parallel universes some people living on in these airports. I think this time period right now could be the most hygienic time period I've ever had to live through where everyone's you know generally pretty up there with their hygiene rules so like worldwide it's probably the best time to travel health-wise which is kind of ironic I think. But today I'm going to try and get a sim card I'm going to try and get some food because I don't have any food yet. The sleep last night I woke up at 2 a.m. So body clock, even after 48 hours, is still synced to the UK. It's going to be interesting later on. And I've talked to a few of the local Mexican skaters, so I'm really looking forward to going out and skating in Mexico City. Hey, how are you? Hello, my name is Jonathan. 